Hi. Frustrating day on Saturday, but is this a good chance for the players to show there can be more clinical in, in front of goal? And will you make changes for the game? Yeah, that's good in football, eh? that you always have the chance in the next game to to, to show an improvement. Um, yes, of course, we'll make changes, but not that we change. I don't. I wouldn't expect it. It's a little bit. Um, it depends a little bit to what the doc will tell me in a few minutes. But it's not really likely that we change seven, eight positions or something like this. I'm not sure that we could do it, but um, it's not the plan. Um, and. Yes, it's um, another game, important game, um, and so yeah, we have to show that we can um, do better than last Saturday, of course. Inevitably, at this time of year, there's lots of transfer speculation. Where are you at with transfers and where are your priorities? <laughs> I really wait for the day when it finally the, the transfer window is closed because I can't believe how obsessed you all are with um, with this and that you don't believe a second in the things in improvement on training pitch. I understand after after Arsenal was far away from being a perfect game, everybody said, OK, we, we scored four, so obviously we can score goals, but we conceded three, so obviously we have a defensive problem. That's if you are not very interested in in, 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 in us, then it's that's the way you can you can uh, see the game. And then we play at Burnley and had 81 percent of ball possession and didn't score a goal. So now we could say we need another striker if you want. So I think it makes sense that we that we think about these things up, um, apart from the results or uh, w without watching the results which we had. It's 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 a thing. But that's how I said always until the 31st of August. Everything is possible because a lot of things can happen. But in this moment, it's not that we have a main uh, thing to um, to do, or that we that our feeling is uh, this position we have nobody, or it's not that we have the feeling we cannot uh, work with the player on the position or something like this. We are very professional, <coughs> very clear, and always working. But nothing more to say about this. And what will happen, we will see. But I don't know in this moment actually 100% what will happen. But it's not that we have a preferred position where we're looking for players. Let's get away from transfers then. Can I ask you about the big talking point from the weekend in the game at Stoke and the, the two penalties that were given for grappling in the penalty area? As a manager, is that something you've had to speak to the players about? We had. Does it change the way you defend set pieces? Well, in our case, not we have to be defending space, but um, of course, it was a, it was a, in the, in a meeting with the, with FA and the ref uh, Michael Dean was here and spoke to the players and to the coaches and we had a few situations in the in a managers meeting at at the MOA have been in London. It was a a big thing which we spoke about. It was not one hundred percent for me. It's always still possible. It's a language issue, of course. Um, it was not one hundred percent clear, so I had a few questions. About this, and at the end, um, yeah, things change obviously. But these two situations were um, in Stoke were were, were, were different. Yeah? So, um, especially, I think the situation with Sterling involved. I don't think that last year would have been a penalty, but this year it's a clear it's a clear um, rule that if you don't watch the ball, if you Grab the shirt of your opponent, then um, it's if and if the referee um, is aware of it, then it's a penalty. So, yeah, it was quite difficult in this moment for, to to see when you saw it in the in the uh, second time. Then it was how the rule in this year is, and so it was a penalty. Yeah, of course we spoke about it, but it's not that we we don't want to um, have the shirt of the other. Um, team before the final whistle. So, um, but it's a normal defending. It's a physical game, especially in England in the box. It's a physical game. A lot of things have been allowed in the past. Obviously, now it changed a little bit. So, it, but we'll need time to adapt to it. Yeah, sometimes the ref sees it, sometimes not, and things like this will happen. We have a few very a few um, set piece specialist teams in the league, so maybe um, they have to change something. Yeah. We were pretty, <laughs> we were not too good in the past with set pieces, but maybe it will help us. We will see. Simon? Um, uh, 
uh, you said about you don't expect to make seven or eight changes or whatever it may be. Is that to get more playing time in the legs of the, the current team that you've got? Is that a nod of respect maybe to Burton, a combination of the two? Or? No, but obviously we, we, obviously we, we analysed Burton and it's, um, that's really, I have to say, the, the championship. I, I like this. Really, I like this uh, league and another good team with maybe not the best start but spectacular results with the 4-3 Norwich, you know, for sure unlucky defeat um, and um, it's a nice story. They wrote the last two, three years um, with uh, um, getting promoted uh, each year and um, that's really good. Experienced manager, so clear style of play, um, I would expect. 3-5-2 system, so that's what they played in the last few games. Okay, not in the Capital One Cup in their last round, but um, that's what we can expect. So uh, it's of course we respect the, the opponent, um, but it's not the moment to rest somebody or something. But we have a few players there now in um, in a good shape and um, they have two weeks more pre-season if you want and two weeks more to train um, what they had to do and now we can, when they are there, when they are healthy, when they are fit um, then we have to give them a chance of course, that's, uh, that's how it is and um, if we think that they can help us then we will make the change um, but how is that, in this moment um, in this short Saturday, Tuesday, or today is Monday, so we have another day. Today is not the highest intensity of training. It's not possible. So it's not about that you can train so as or so good that I think okay he should be in the in the lineup. No, it's about which kind of opportunities and and uh, we have who can we really use, who is in which shape, and um, that's what we try to figure out in this next 24 hours, and then we will make a lineup. And with that in mind, then does maybe is this maybe Danny's Danny Ainge's opportunity? Is he ready now to come back into your first team? Look, that's a, that, that's I like I really. I would really like to have your job sometimes only because um, it's, uh, I can change everything and I can change, okay, we, I have another Devo Gorigio who didn't start, only for example, I've still Darren Sturridge, he made only one game, but you don't care a second about what's about, you only ask for one player. And I know that sometimes, no, it's, I know, but I, I, if you want, I can bring them all. That's, I only, like, only want to say, of course you can ask, but my answer, I don't can give a real answer. That's sometimes for a player it's a little bit harder and takes a little bit longer. And of course he, he improved and of course he trains good. Danny is a wonderful guy and a wonderful player. But it doesn't mean that we cannot change every two days everything. So it's sometimes it needs a little bit more time, where even when you when you are not, not in the best position in, in the squad. That's all the things I, I know about. But um, um, it's like really a little bit like you see, uh, ah, okay, now he. Okay, Danny will play. Oh no, let's let's play this game. Danny will play, and um, maybe you think then it's time to to um, leave Danny Sturridge out. He played only I don't know 70 minutes or something at Burnley, or Debo Gorigi needs another week, or should we bring them all together, or what's the situation? Um, and it's not about bringing one player, so it's finding a formation for for the for the for this game, and that's what we are working on. And um, I really, yeah. I cannot give all players together the opportunity to play. That's how it is. And sometimes you have to work longer to change your situation. That's all. That doesn't mean that Danny is not in the team or not in the squad. It only means, in general, that it's, for, that it's like this for the players. And if we, we play the game, hopefully we have more than 11 players over the season. And then we can always talk about the players who didn't play last week, even when you lost. That's a moment when you talk, speak most about players who didn't play. I understand this. Hopefully we don't have to do this too often. But then it's not possible for me to, to give the answer maybe you want to hear. We only can talk about it and then you can make with it what you want. Wasn't that I wanted? It was just an inquisitive mind. Yeah. It's for you to pick the team. I was just. No, I know, I know, I know. I don't know. That's that's clear, 100. percent But it it makes not too much. Of course, it's now each week in which he can't play or didn't play, or that's not too too good for a player. But that's how it is in football. You accept this when you start playing the game. So that's long ago, and so. The only thing a player can do is to work as hard as possible, to perform as good as possible in each session, and then at the end the manager have to make the decision. Yeah, again, uh, Liverpool's performances in the cup competitions last season were really good. You got to two <laughs> finals. Uh, even in the FA Cup, you were very unfortunate to lose at West Ham. 
Uh, what is it, do you think, about the sudden death gains that seems to bring the best out of your team? We had so many different um, lineups that I was in a few moments I was pretty I was surprised about our performance. To be honest, I can remember my I think my first couple one cup game was Bournemouth at home, possible. One nil, Klein scored a goal. Um, and at this day, I was surprised <laughs> you know, how good we were, and uh, we really deserved it. We we made a lot of changes, so it was uh, it was another situation then, and um, we, we we took each that what we do now again each. Um, each game as a real opportunity for for uh, gaining a very good feeling for for have for getting some confidence self confidence in in not the most easy situations but we had to make these changes because of the big number of games so this year um hopefully we have a, um we have another situation from the injury side and all that stuff so it's not we we really i like these games that's that's how it is and even when i lost a few finals um I always liked the way to go there and um, and having the atmosphere around the final. That's that's how it is, um, and we will be competitive. Um, I know. Meanwhile, about the quality of Burton, um, because we, uh, with all our respect, we we, we analyze them um, pretty much and uh, know much more about them than before. And um, but we we have to show that we want to. That we want to be in this competition. It's not about who is who and who is from comes from Premier League or who is Championship team. It's all about respecting the game, using the opportunities, working really hard, play football, enjoy the game, all that stuff. A lot of these things I saw even last Saturday, but at the end, it was not enough desire in the last third. That's that's how it is. You know, we had so many um, um, moments around the box. Where we could have made better decisions, and that's another thing what we have to do. I don't expect actually that we have again 80% ball possession because Burton is another team and they they, they play a little bit different, and and so they are a real counter-attacking team, of course. So that's um, a few different things in this game, other formation, all that stuff. But yeah, to improve your own game is apart from the competition. That's another competition. That's a, a very important thing in this early stage of the season. Did Ogarigi last season, the second half of the campaign, he, he came on, he really, really improved and uh, making a sizable impact in matches. Have you seen that progress continue? I know he was one of the players that came no, physically, physically, yes. Physically, yes. It made another step. So that's good. He's still a young boy. Um, but on the other side, it's. Um, there's no rhythm in the moment, but you can see um, the game. Did you came in both games? Yeah, I think so. So, um, we're not situation a little bit late, especially uh, Burnley was um, a hectic game in this in this moment. So it was not. Um, uh, it could have been a, a game for a striker when you come in when you score immediately, but um, then uh, it was clear we can play another 20, 20 hours or minutes, and you will not score a goal on this day. So it was not that day. But yes, he made another few steps in the, in the right direction, and now it's it's about uh, gaining rhythm and um, yeah, to to find the easy way to play football again because. How is that? He is, is not a very experienced player, even when he has now a few really good games. But um, yeah, he needs still to 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 sort all his skills because he is so skilled uh, that he can use the right skill in the right moment. And um, yeah, good to work together with him. Did you said there, um, there wasn't enough design in the final third on, on Saturday. How do you change that in the short space of time you've got? <laughs> First of all, we have to. We need to be aware of it. Eh? So it was because if you think it's a, it's a God's judgment or whatever that you that you don't score with so many with 80 percent of possession, so then you have a real problem. So we could have done much better. So I, I we, we could have had more situations, more shots. We had a lot of shots, and most of them from outside the box. But even that, that's if you have nine nine shots inside the box, that's more than you actually have in a normal game. So um, we, we did a lot of good things to come there. Um, was was good, but at the end we made the wrong decision. That's how it is. Now we need to shoot, but we pass. Now we need to cross, but we shoot whatever that that's that's all that these things happen and at the end it was in one or two situations a little bit unlucky not too not too often and in two or three situations we had too many players um involved in in the passing 
movements and patterns around the box. And when we are the cr uh, ready for crossing, then we had nobody in the box. That makes an absolutely nil point nil sense. So, and that's what I mean. Then in the in the last in the last point with with. Uh, when I speak about desire, so you, you, then you need to be there and try to to force it in one. Not from outside. We had so many shots from outside. That's not a problem because they stand, they were so deep. Then sometimes you have to use it and you have to try. But it looked a little bit too early, um, kind of desperate. So that you think, okay, why well, should do we shoot now? And even we became closer to the goal. And second half, the the the, the goalkeeper had to make a few saves, but especially in the first half, I think uh, it was a big distance between the ball and the goal. And um, so that all with our quality, uh, you you saw it. The first the first goal changed a lot, and especially. Um, Obviously, for us, that makes this is not this is not okay. But it's an early stage in the season. It's an early uh, early moment in the season. And how I said, a, a, a summer break has a few good things, and you can make rest, and then you can train, and you can work on it. But to to create something like a real mentality in this game, they, that needs time. And, and the first game was from this point of view, very good, and the second game not. So what's the truth now? We have to we have to carry on. We have to to work on these things. What we will do 100 percent, and uh, and staying calm and, and cool in this situation from from my side that I don't say how can you do things like this I, I lost unfortunately a few games in my life and um, I, have, I think I should accept that I will lose the one or the other game in the future too so it's it's all about football but even you know this before that you can lose a game so then this information is already there so then you can work on on winning the game so that's how it is so it's, there's no pressure in this moment, it's more a, a, a chance to, to bring the Liverpool train in the right direction. And that's what we should do. And that's what we want to do in this moment. And so yeah, both, team, both games which we played until now were very important for us, for information. Nobody wants the information we got from Burnley. But now we have them and now we have to work with this too. Do you think the players learn more from the Burnley game than they learn from the Arsenal game? <laughs> uh, hmm. Different things, I think, was they learned different things from these two games. So it's not more; it's different. And um, yeah, it was. It was. It it feel. It doesn't feel good. It does. Still, it doesn't feel good. It's not that I think. Okay, now it's over. It, it is over. I cannot change. But I. It was not that I thought. Um. Yeah, that was a good idea that we play like this and we have these problems which we had and especially, um, yeah, the first goal was ah. That of course too early, and then uh, the kind of was not. You don't need this, but it happened, and um, development is always with. It never works like you actually want. It's not a 100% way in development. You have to to take the knock sometimes, but of course nobody wanted it in this moment. But nothing more happened. So nothing more happened, and um, um, maybe we can learn more from this game than. Actually, Burnley maybe, so because I don't think that they want to play with 90% of ball possession. So that's that for sure. So that was good, but we have to use it better, and we did it already better in the preseason, in sessions, in a lot of moments. We did it much better in the last season. We did it better. So only it's in the in the last. My job is to, first of all to bring the players in and around the box with movements, with, with um, passing things and um, show them ways where we can use, where we can, um, yeah, where we can use, which we can use and then, but at the end of course you have to make the decision by yourself and we have the skills to make the decision, but if we then don't use our skills anymore in the most decisive area, then it's not too good, not too good. Okay. Any more from that side of the room before we go to the embargo? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Any injuries ahead of the trip? No real injuries, little issues if you want. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's not okay. I could now name a few names, but um, that's um, they still can play. It's possible, so I have not uh, been no, made no final decision about this. So, in this moment, I would say they are all available, which were available last week, plus, plus. Yeah, maybe one or two players if we need them. So, but um, we have a few with long injuries like Luke, and so so they are not back in training. And um, but uh, it's not if we have other options. It's not a moment where we should force it on these positions. Okay. Any more from that side of the room? Before we go to the 
Next bit's under embargo, guys, if you can make that clear for me.